up until now, pre-Delta, the data shows that kids are safer in school from a global perspective because we know that in school kids are getting better education than they got remotely. We know that in school uh, poor kids had better access to food than at home. So globally, kids belong in school. That's where they're going to have their friend groups that can lend them emotional and psychological support. Teachers, you know, have experience with this, with, with helping support students through difficult times. So from that perspective, I fully support the AAP, of which I am a fellow, um, that says that all kids need to be in-person learning full-time. I agree with that 100%. The problem is that statement and those recommendations were pre-Delta variant. So there is a concern that if Delta variant is more contagious in kids the way it is in adults, that could cause some pretty massive school-based outbreaks that could lead to, to schools having to rapidly reshut down, maybe not globally, but isolate, you know, this school suddenly had 500 kids exposed, now all of a sudden they're having to shut down for two weeks or whatever. So that's a really big concern, especially in light of the fact that not every, skid, kid, not every school is going to be masking. I'm 100% in support of full-time masking for all children in schools unless they're playing outside or are eating or drinking. And there's no doubt about it that the vaccine is the best way to protect kids, but for kids under the age of 12, there is no vaccine available yet, and we don't expect a vaccine to be available until late in the year or early next year even. The best way to protect a child under the age of 12 is for everybody around them who is over the age of 12 to be vaccinated because up until now, the primary way that children get COVID is from their parents, grandparents, older cousins, aunts and uncles. We know that to be true. So if all the adults in your child's life are vaccinated, that's a layer of protection, right? It's gonna be harder for COVID to get to them. And then when your child is outside of your house around other unvaccinated children, they need to be wearing a mask, 100%, unless they're playing outside. I let my kids, I will be very honest, I let my kids go unmasked outside because it's very hard to transmit COVID outdoors. And I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist, but I fully believe that school is where our kids need to be. And that is why we as adults have to do what we can to keep our kids safe. We have to wear our masks. We have to get vaccinated because if we end up the way some of these Southern states are going with these massive outbreaks and with our pediatric hospitals filling up, I worry that our, our schools will shut back down again and that's not good for the kids. So we as adults need to do everything we can to keep our schools open.